Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I'm Fred Smullen, and today we're continuing just some more Hades today, because I kind of felt like it, more or less. And what should we go this time around? I would love to do like a poison build or something like that, actually, with the spear. So let's try it. And... We need to heat level two. Okay, sorry about that. I had someone come out of the door. So, hmm. What shall we go for? Uh, actually, prices being higher is kind of irrelevant. We'll take that. I don't like the jury summon. Sad labor is bad enough, especially you, you try taking healing away as well. I'll go with this. My choice is made. And see so here we go. Hello there, Dionysus. Ah, we're full of interruptions today. Anyway. Orpheus down there, you ever heard of him? I bet you have. And I have had a funny thought, a little jest that maybe we could try if you'd be up to have a little harmless fun. Harmless fun at the expense of Orpheus? You have my full and complete attention, Dionysus mate. That chap comes up with the most smashing song, so I was thinking maybe we could spin him a tall tale, something like how maybe you and I, like, were connected or something. He'll buy it, tell him, tell him for me, yeah? <laughs> Uh, that could be really interesting. Ooh, special inflicts hang over my cast. Oh, I'll take the cast. I would like to get, like, special attack, but, yeah, we're not taking anything less than epic if we can get away with it. So that's kind of, like, the main point. But yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of things I kind of want to do at the moment, and especially with like uploading videos and stuff, there is a few different things that I'm currently putting in the works and trying to change the format. Again, I'm kind of falling into a bad habit again of just like playing certain games I enjoy and kind of neglecting other ones. So there are other games I would like to play. They're on my list. I've added to the backlog as such. <laughs> and I'll probably do some recordings of those and, you know. Make some other decisions to play other things as well. So, there'll probably be a bit more varied content coming soon at some yeah, point. Yeah. Uh, no, we'll take the Dionysus because I want the Dionysus boons. You again. Okay, we'll sacrifice going to see Chaos for that. More Dionysus. Huh. Uh, dash inflicts hangover. I would like to take that, but it's kind of like, yeah. I guess I'll take the special. Uh, shops can be very expensive, so we'll leave those till last. But yeah. So I did the same thing like ages ago with playing a lot of Hearthstone, which I still haven't gone back to in ages. And I know like a new expansion is probably coming out some point again, so I might as well um, start playing that a bit, get back into playing the arena again, and maybe like try and actually finally do like a <laughs> proper. Uh, Like a proper, um, like, legend rank climb and stuff, because I tried that several times, but I always just end up running out of time, or I don't have enough free time to do it. It was always one of the things I remember always saying with, um, with ranked, is the fact that it's not hard to get there, it just takes time. And it's the most disappointing thing I remember about playing Hearthstone, and games that involve a rank climb ladder. 
There's no real difference between you kind of succeeding and smashing. Blackout. I'll take that. But yeah, there's no difference between you actually like um, doing really well in the game and the amount of time you spend. There's no sort of correlation between that. Like, you can do really well and get like a 70% win rate, but if you haven't played enough games, you're still nowhere near the top players in the uh, in the rankings for that. Yeah, here we take the weapon right upgrade because my special of protecting multiple foes would be great and exactly what I'm looking to do. But yeah, and there's a few other games uh, I've been playing and stuff. I'm kind of still enjoying the uh, Outer Ring DLC, which has been going interesting, and <laughs> as always, it's uh, very difficult, but I'm having fun. And I've also found a bunch of uh, skips and stuff, which are probably meant to be in there anyway. Hmm. I'm going to exploding launcher, why not? Good as new. Doesn't mean I don't get two stacks, but I don't have to recall it. I can kind of like fire it off quicker. Think you can stop me? So I think my grog makes yeah the poison do more damage now. See, I take the things. I don't even read them. Uh, I am the epitome of that kid that goes, that sign won't stop me, I can't read. But yeah, so I kind of want to go back and start playing random games and stuff, because it'd be nice. And, you know, have a bit of catch up with uh, all the games I've been kind of missing and not replaying really because I haven't had the time to. The other thing is, like, my kind of side work op is now technically fully finished. I don't really know. Um, there'll probably be some maintenance I've got to deal with in the next, like, few days or so. But it's been keeping me on my toes for quite a while. Like not in a bad sense, but more in the sense of like, why can't people just learn how to do a job? <laughs> I had to learn it. Cool. Kieran's shop. Ooh, nice. Um. Hmm. I do dash quite a lot, but. Premium Vintage is way too good. Plus, like, the extra health I get for it. Power of the gods. Upgrading my hangar was a good idea. Let's move on. Hello to Symphony. Please, I'm not a murderer. You don't have to do this. But yeah. So hopefully I will set some other stuff up so I can uh, do some other types of recording and maybe actually like for once do the thing I was going to do because I was like for one of my jobs I had like a bit of extra money and stuff so I was like you know what what I should do. I should buy like some external recording software so I can actually like record, you know, like other games and stuff. 
in other games I enjoy playing. Like from on my Switch to like my Xbox and all that sort of stuff, but I haven't because the awkwardness of the setup that I have, which is not as simple as just like, oh, plug it to one screen because I'm an idiot. Maybe I should switch. Hmm. Yeah, most likely. But we want to inflict other statuses, so. Might help. Uh, healing's pointless. Chaos Gate would be nice, actually. Yeah, we'll pick that up. Like, that seems great, but it's actually worth selling. Um, That's one less boon. Because, like, oh yeah, it's great to have the extra damage, Somebody but, like, I have to kind of, like, combine two abilities, and I'm an idiot and I can't do that, so... And I know I did it last time, I sold the thing that would have made my run, like, super epic, but... Yeah, that was my own fault. I understand the punishment. I haven't give chaos one of these. Master Chaos, it's little wonder all existence sprang from you because I see the noble qualities in so many I've met embodied in you. Please accept this gift. I look at these on pure notes, I have Hades. I shall not be giving them over to you in exchange for your repeat offerings. You give them to me knowing it shall serve no purpose and achieve no end. I know that there are some among both mortals and your kind for whom this is quite unacceptable. When you extend an offering to the Olympians, for a fleeting instant, it appears as though they are able to hear your prayer. Or so I have observed. How interesting that your thoughts are capable of breaking free, yet you cannot. It's the intent that's all the matters. Uh, specialty of more damage. That is actually really good. I'd like to get the rest of these. And actually that would be pretty good if I was going for that sort of build, but um, this will flourish, it's way too good to pass up. And... I guess we're darkness. I need to get all the levels up and stuff, so... Bonebreakers. You know. I do like the uh, fact that my special just like deals 50 damage though, <laughs> and this explodes and poisons everyone in it. Um, as always, we go to the event. On to the next one. Majesty. Majesty. And here. You're just in time, Your Royal Majesty. Got something real good cooking right here that you're gonna love. You hungry? Yeah? Am I ever? You're always so generous. And you're always cooking. And singing. Do you have many guests come by? Your place seems somewhat off the beaten path. What? You think I get a lot of guests here? <laughs> no. But I like cooking anyway. It's like singing in a way. Keep getting better the more you try. Turns out a bit different each time. Hmm. Two random booms. Here, enjoy. Nice. Ooh, that's good. So that got upgraded to heroic, and that got upgraded as well. Drink and flourish. Practically exactly what we're going for. I see you. You can do it. I mean, we'll try and max out all the affection levels for all the people, because that'd be nice. It's on my list of things to do. But yeah, it's one of the things I've always, um, I've always realised that, like, it can be very difficult to, uh, manage all the small tasks you have throughout the day alongside like all the other stuff that you end up having going on because you know life is never easy as much as you would love it to be bye you two the heat 
of your surroundings must be difficult to bear, my little sprout. It's fortunate I've just the thing for that. Hmm. Attacks inflict chill. I'll take that. The winter's chill. But yeah, so... It is one of the things where it's just like... I try and make so many, that much efforts to allow myself to do all the things I want to do. But the limitation most of the time is the fact that it's just time and money most of the cases, which is very frustrating in itself. So I tend to have to like prioritize particular things more than others, which eh, is both good and bad. Like I gotta remember, like as much as I do enjoy the recording, this kind of isn't like the uh, priority in my life when I do it. At least for now. You know, what comes first is earning money. The second thing after that then is my mental health and how I'm feeling and everything else. And after that, it's then worrying about all the little things. So. I still wonder what became of her fair daughter. They ran away with mortals there, perhaps. But some of the tales even more preposterous. Don't go believing everything you hear. And do be sensitive about the subject, hmm? Demeter, she's been through quite enough. Ah. Now I take lightning reflexes. Is my hair sticking up? But yeah. I always tend to try and prioritize like one task at a time whenever I do anything, which is kind of uh, both good and bad. Yeah, we'll take the money. Money's really hard to come by and everything's really expensive now. That is private property. Where did that thing go? <laughs> Thank you, Father. But yeah, so I tend to try and prioritize things like one at a time. I, I can't deal with like multiple tasks all around me, surrounding me. I'm like, okay, let's just do this thing, and then do this thing, and then do this thing, and that's kind of how everything works. You know, they're both good or bad. But it's kind of the way that I've always dealt with problems and just general stuff as well. Is one thing at a time. Break it down. What do I need to do? What would I like to do? And then kind of like what's more important. Like are there stuff that's time urgent as such? Which does tend to mean that I tend to get things quite easily. So I'll get something that is kind of time urgent and then completely forget about it. Over there. That is my chaos boon upgraded. Ah, yeah, we can do this shot. A random boon. Well, we'll take the upgrade first. Because I'd rather have that and I guess we'll upgrade the. Uh, Attack. Oh, good we meet again. You spent your hard-earned wealth on my account, dearest. Why, is that even just the sweetest thing? And yet, the charm is really good damage. I will take that. And the health. Mm. Let's go face off against the boss then. Shall we? May I say, you look lovely this day or night, Lenny. But yeah. I think me how to prioritize stuff like that is kind of important, but I wish I was better at it. 
because I still do struggle with it. And it's just a way that I'm kind of like already pre-programmed to uh, <laughs> deal with stuff in that particular way. And also the most efficient way for me to deal with it as well is uh, focused around that sort of aspect. You know? Double my damage from my actual uh, <laughs> special already. It's great and hilarious for me. And it does like 10% of its damage output constantly. <laughs> One shot that third phase. Here, actually, I think is the best way to go. So I don't really need anything else, and everything else has got like something attached to it. So yeah, I'm kind of happy where stuff is at the moment. Should I take the train? Um, no, we'll keep all of those. Get me out of here and check. I know that like, replaying this game, there's one thing that I've always kind of um, picked on. Health or level up? Uh, to the health here, actually. Survivability is just important. And I've kind of always picked on it, is the fact that sometimes I think that the kind of like upgrades that you get for the game and going through like certain levels sometimes are a little bit kind of like. Um, Overly, I would say, the, the, the time frame for them to have an effect sometimes is a little bit too long. Which, by the looks of it, in the new one, they've kind of fixed that sort of issue. That's good. Which is uh, pretty good. Do I take the gems? I take the health again. So yeah, there is that kind of um, nice difference that I picked up on, from, like the difference between the two games, as well as in, like I like I can like the um, whole mirror image aspect of it as well, and the fact that then you kind of have this section where you do like continue on to actually get to Olympus, although I haven't got that far yet, as in like I haven't actually made it to Olympus. Got to hold on. That will eventually happen at some point, but... I mean, we did manage to defeat, like, the original boss path, if you will. What we've got in here? Eh, nothing that special, actually. And gold versus... Eh, take the level here. Guaranteed damage would be nice. By looking at it, I think also the um, increase in my special also increases the um, hangover effect, which is something I never picked up on. <laughs> I have played this game for years, and that is something I never knew. You gotta laugh, right? Delicious. Uh, yeah, special increase. Bear with me a second. Okay, sorry about that. We're still having uh, 
interruptions because apparently I'm really popular today. Oh, nice. The plan room to get out of here. Attacks, present three patterns, special deals damage to armor. Hold attack to roughly strike, but I can no longer spin attack. Special damage to armor is way too good to pass up. And Dionysus again. Let's go. The fact that I can now just shred through armor is really good. And I'd rather that than anything else. So my issue was always armor, but then it's like I always find it hilarious because like like I find that I get armor and in the new the in Hades 2 now at the moment. Hades 2 is where the, the game even exists. It's kind of a weird thing to think that um they've changed it so that kind of like armor is always more than the health. When here that's kinda of not the case. Olympus, I accept this message. Hmm. Dealing more damage while three or more gives me bonus damage. Yeah, I'll take bad influence. Why not? Oh yeah, fish, fish, fish. Always time to fish. Now, that's a cup, all right. Now recording this now, and it's like I'm just making myself hungry. <laughs> take the money here. I gotta decide what I want for my dinner as such, and at the moment it's on the uh, realm of. Uh, Me thinking ordering pizza, which was nice, but the problem is, well, no, I would like pizza. I know that later down the line I'm gonna regret it because I have like minor lactose intolerance, which uh, is hilarious. It really is. Not in the sense that lactose intolerance is hilarious, but more in the sense that I can like have milk and stuff and all that, all sorts of things. But what I can't do is have like a massive like cheese pizza or like a you know. I have to kind of plan it out. <laughs> but then because of that, like, I've already had to, like, change and adapt my diet to all sorts of different things like that anyway. Just take that. So, like, I won't have milk or things in the house unless, like, I've got, like, people that like that sort of stuff in. Which is why I kind of say to people, like, you know, if you're coming over, give me a heads up because, like, I will not have certain things that you guys like because they don't meet my dietary restrictions. But like, I'll be fine, like either way, even if I do have it. It's just, it's kind of very frustrating for like, the next day or so. I will uh, not feel great as such. So I end up then having to like, you know what, I can have a pizza here, or I can have this like really cheesy carbonara here, or I can have mac and cheese here, or, you know. You know, ah, oh, the classic mozzarella sticks. Oh god, <laughs> I'm really getting myself in the mood to eat lots of cheese at this moment in time. It's good old classic cheese and crackers as well. I would like to. Don't need to restore health, but I gotta go with here because I'm in the event. Gift. Hey, look, I can tell you're struggling right now, and maybe this isn't the way to help you through it all, but I want you to have this. Ah, so you are taking pity on me then? Well, I've no pride like many others here, so I shall take it. Though let's make it a fair exchange, shall we? I am most grateful to you, sir. Finally! That is the last keepsake I needed. I mean, shouldn't you be up and about, competing for eternal pride and glory and all that? What's the use? Let's say we fought, if anybody asks. Now go. I've no quarrel with you. Besides, I'll just remain here comfortably at rest for some untold millennia, I guess. Have a nice... whatever time it is. Man, someone is really depressed. I'd like to increase my attack, but that's pointless. I got all my death defiances, so I guess we'll take that. The healing. And shop. Yeah, I'll take shop.
Hmm. Upgrade first. Excuse me. Ash. More percentage damage on that. That's actually a really good boost on my uh, normal damage there, though. That up. Dash inflicts weak. Uh, resist some damage from the nearby attacks. This is pretty good. More health upgrades. That's pointless because I'm already kind of reaching the end anyway. Um, damage reduction, though, could be pretty useful. Let's face off against the delinquent duo. Big crowd, huh? Please not more words with this one, King. Let's fight. But yeah. There are many things I uh, would like to be able to do at the moment. One of one things on my list is actually like booking a proper holiday at some point as well. It is on my list as such. It'll come eventually. Have a good nice time away. That's kind of on my list of stuff to do. He's very annoying to deal with. Okay, he's down now. That's great. Okay, Minutes, uh, let's deal with you. Death Defiance, that is the main thing in that fight. Thank you, thank you. Very nice. There's my shade. I will say that fight always to me always seems like a damage check. Or, or a DPS check, more than it is actually anything else. Already made it that far, have you, boy? And there we go, look. Take damage, become impervious, and fresh every seven seconds, that's pretty good. But as we are gonna be facing the boss. We take the death defiance, or we can just like save myself five hits, maybe. Or we should take the extra health. Yeah, the extra health probably could be just a lot better here. In the long run, anyway. Like bad influence is such a good boon actually for this build, especially if I can stack it up. And I like all the rest of those. So that's fine. Uh, next boon increase rarity. Ah, uh, yeah. Should come in useful. We'll take that. <sighs> What's with the air up here? But yeah, I got, I got a lot of stuff I need to uh, go through and sort out and do from like normal home stuff to like actual stuff I want to be able to do, and it is the way of the world, as they say. Let's face off against this. I would like the boom. It is a uh, kind of frustrating in some ways, but kind of like a necessity in others. I try and make stuff like as easy as possible for myself because I hate I hate having to go out my way to do something. 
so this is kind of like kind of what annoys most people with me, and I've always been like it. My creature of convenience is the uh, phrase I would use, and the term I go with. So what I basically mean is, it's like, if something's inconvenient for me, I don't really see why I should be doing it at that immediate time, when I can make it more convenient with other stuff i got to do around the same time, or... You know, it, 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 it's, it's those sort of things. I mean, we've all been there. It's like someone will sit there and say, oh yeah, can you pick this up for me? And you're like, well, why do I need to? Like, why does it need to be done now? Is there any kind of point in it being done now? Or can it be done later? Or, like... Find 10 stacks of chill, creates blast. My dash shoots chill. Well, I'm never going to apply that. Restoring effects and bonus restoration will actually help out with the death, the death defiance. I won't get the healing now, but an extra, like, 60 health could be worthwhile. Or whatever. Or 30 health. If I were a Satisac, where would I be? Let's go health now. I love I can hit him through the wall. <laughs> Explosion poison tip spears, eh? Hey? What a build. I know it frustrates people like massively when stuff isn't done immediately in some cases, but you know, it's just that's not the way my brain works. I will pick both those up because they're more important to me than anything else. Oh, never mind. That's pretty good. Annoying that I don't get to buy the kaboon or something because of that, but at least I can deal damage with armor and stuff on this final boss fight. Bye for now, boy. Yeah. I'm still having arguments at the moment of trying to get, like, a mortgage for a house and that she's looking to buy a house and stuff like that, which is absolutely hilarious every time I see a mortgage of I say. Get accustomed to the breeze. <laughs> uh. I shall give you no quarter, boy. Although I doubt that you expect it otherwise. Like the, the arguments I end up having are very ridiculous arguments. It's more on the fact that, oh yeah, like I can afford this, but you say I can't afford this, so why can I not afford this? And then they can't really answer the question. Which is kind of hilarious to me, you know? Not because they, they, they can't actually give me an answer, but more on the fact that just like how ridiculous the system is in a way that it will actually kind of like mean that I can't do certain things. And a good example of it was like, like, oh yeah, if they only get more mortgage or more money. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But I've been down that route before. And I go, what do you mean you've been down that route before? And I turned around and said, well, last time I did it. Um, you guys turned around and said that my hours that I was working was uneconomically viable. And you go, well, what do you mean by that? Like, you said I wasn't able to sustain those working hours with the extra work I was doing. So therefore, I had no choice but to, like, leave that one job because of those differences. Which, obviously, the guy was not very happy about when I said that. Because, you know, it's like, well, why are you coming to me more advice if you, like, already know the answers to these small questions? I'm like, well, because I'm asking you to tell me stuff I don't know. You know? Okay, I can earn more money. I can sit here and, uh, you know, come home at the end of every day and spend... You know, 30, 40, 
hours a week extra earning more money this way, you know? And programming and doing whatever I need to. But that, that won't fix my problem, because then I'll be told that that's not going to work in the long term, you know? Which is very frustrating for me, and it's probably very frustrating for a lot of other people out there as well, but they're in the exact same position, where it's just like, uh, death points down. Because like, I'm meant to be told that, you know, i got to own a house and everything else as well, and I would love to own one, you know? But to be honest, to me, if I was going to own a house, it really wouldn't be a... Uh, a home as such, I mean, more like an investment, which is kind of how it works at the moment anyway, which is terrible to think about. You know, something that was idealized is not both just like the American dream, but was also even like in the UK was something that everyone wanted to do in their entire life. It's like a big moment. To own a house now is more like a chore than it is actually pop. That was quite the speed run as well. That's a for me. That's a pretty good run. One of the quickest ones I've done in a while. Still haven't done the Shield of Chaos though. But we've done it like cleared it once, but nothing on the heat level. Interesting. We'll have to get on that at some point. Now we can't fish in this area, so. Having already seen the splendid cottage of Persephone sufficient times, the stubborn underworld prince nevertheless attempts to go there once again, although his memory of it shall have to do. <laughs> Still can't make it there anymore. Please, everybody, hold your applause. Let's go do not talking. Hey, you look like you could use some sleep. Yes, I could. Everyone, look who it is. <laughs> ah, but to think that our esteemed musician at the court is none other than you, Orpheus. In matters of music, at least, Hades and I have similar tastes. Anyway, I don't mean to keep you. I shall be honored to perform my songs, Your Grace. And might I add, your grace bears many of the striking features of your son. I understand now where he gets his charm. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> Don't know if that's good or bad. Father, all this stuff with the Olympians, will you just tell me what's going on for once? How did Mother come to join you here? What's your problem with Uncle Zeus? I thought she already told you. Ah, come with me, now. We get to learn. Swear to me that you shall never repeat what you are about to hear. Swear it. All right, all right, I swear. I swear in your own name I'll keep what you're about to say between us. So? So, you had it mostly right before. After I inherited the underworld, your Uncle Zeus felt sympathy for me, he says. Your mother, he knew she was unhappy on Olympus. And... He knew I was drawn to her. So what did he do? He brought her here. Gave her to me as a gift. You weren't expecting a gift like that. But she didn't want to return to Olympus, and you liked her, so you didn't send her away. And you were angry with Zeus for putting you in that position. Cut ties with him. Yes. The blasted fool with all his flights of fancy. He does whatever he wants. He could have achieved a similar outcome in a limitless number of reasonable ways. Rather, the result of what was tantamount to kidnapping, even if she wanted to leave. 
And now if Demeter and the others found all this out, you and Mother, even Zeus, would be in a bad spot, wouldn't he? He must have a temper on him to match yours. You know nothing of tempers if mine is your frame of reference, Agnius. Now enough of this. You know the rest. Remember your oath. I will. Take care, Father. There we go. We get to learn a little bit more about what's going on behind the scenes. Gift. No gifts which you could bring me can exceed the value of our kinship, child, though it moves me to receive this offering. It's nothing, Nix, really. I know you've always believed in me, and it's not something I ever take for granted. I am grateful. Nix, I encountered Demeter. She mentioned her daughter, Persephone. You never said she was my grandmother. Didn't you think, under the circumstances, that was something I should know? <laughs> Listen to me, child. What you know or do not know is for your protection. Your protection and your birth mother's as well. Your suspicion and your curiosity are warranted, but I can do no more about them now, except to caution you. Are we understood? Yes, we're understood. Indeed. Somewhat a dwelling beast for you, good chef. We'll do the usual housekeeping and such as we go around and just, like, see what's on the sails. Ooh. Hmm. I got a lot of Titan blood that I probably should go and use, to be honest, at some point. House contractor, what have we got from here? Interesting, interesting. Might as well pick that up. I think I've outgrown my other bed. Not that there's been a lot of time for sleep of late. <laughs> There we go, we've done all the bedchamber stuff, how cool. So, next up I guess we'll focus on... Getting the stuff for the Great Hall and just buying everything here, maybe? I'll move on to the other one, so I'll have a little think. We'll decide later. No Achilles, no no one else. Uh, and Deuce is not even in sight either, unless I'm being blind. But there we go. Nothing on here, nothing on here. I'm going to grow closer with all the Olympians, which we'll do. So I guess I need to uh, save up all the nectar I can for all them lot. What's going on, Skelly? But we'll keep going. But anyway, yeah, that's another run down, another victory, which was... Long way to go. <laughs> a very fast run for us this time around. I was quite chuffed to actually get into this speed record for myself, but again, if you do enjoy these videos, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.